All right, we're going to be looking at Harmon Phoenix, and this is my first photo example here. I mean, well, this is kind of an example of what Phoenix kind of does if you don't expose it 100% correctly. Let's see if I can zoom in a bit. Oh, I can't. Um, I probably could have gone slightly brighter, but even then, indoors, I feel like more of this detail would have been lost over here. It's really tight when you have to use this film stock. Everything you do is extremely tight, so make sure you really treat it like slide film. But yeah, no, the blacks just completely go away. It's kind of a shame, but then again, uh, crunchy film is kind of nice, isn't it? Okay, we're going to go for another one here. I don't remember if this was pushed or not pushed. I think it's regular. Um, this one was a hard one to color balance, too. It was a weird day when I took this out. As you can see, a lot of the trees are still bare and stuff. But, uh, yeah, definitely interesting colors you get. A lot of green saturation. A lot of the blues and greens in Phoenix really explode if you let them. And I like that. Okay, now we're moving into some stuff here. This is a couple shopping carts in an Outback Steakhouse. This is normal Phoenix, I know that. Um, it's kind of cool, isn't it? It's just... Uh, well, how do I put this? The red-orange kind of Target shopping carts, they definitely... Shopping carts, they look a little weird. I, I can't put my finger on exactly why, but, you know, the, the greens are really hanging out to play. But the carts, they, they got something glowing in them. I, I just can't explain it. Same with the Outback lettering. I think it, the reds, depending on if it's, like, not completely red, they kind of go a bit red-orange. But, nonetheless, I still think it's cool. Alright. This is inside of a Dairy Queen. This is one of my favorite shots I've taken on Phoenix, just because, like, look at this. It's awesome looking. Of course, the shadow detail is completely gone. You got a little bit of a uh, nice halation on the table here. It looks like an old film photo. And I think that's kind of what I like about it, because the grain structure is, let's say, very pronounced. Like, if you get up closer... Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, <laughs> that's pretty grainy. But it just looks so cool. I don't know. I'm a big fan. And if you turn to your left inside that same Dairy Queen, well, then you'll see this. So, the weird thing about Phoenix is it reacts very differently when you put it under different colors. And this is just a very big example of that. I don't know why it does it. This is just what it does. This is not how the place actually looks. But, you know, it's, it's weird. So now we're getting to the Phoenix pushed one stop. Um, I pushed this one stop and then I also shot it at uh, 320. So giving it a little bit of a boost there. Um, there's the moon and this is uh, definitely not focused on the tree. Definitely went basically straight to infinity on this one. I don't know. I, I like the way this one came out. The blue is incredibly strong. Pushing Phoenix leads to incredibly contrasty stuff as well. So you might want to lower that in post like I had to do for a few things. But, you know, it's just a pretty looking film stock. Not the sharpest, but very pretty. That's kind of like how I have to look at it. This one, I'm pretty sure I just missed the metering. I think I, uh, I, think I had too much sky in and it's like, oh, okay. Yeah, I should have definitely uh, metered somewhere down here. But... Yeah, that's supposed to be pretty tan. You'll see it in the next picture. Yeah, so that's more accurate, I would definitely say. Um, you know, what I could say about this is, you know, this is a, this is a beach film stock, if you uh, don't blow out the sand highlight. But look at that, the water. It's got a lot of depth to that color. It kind of reminds me of... Uh, What's it called? This the shade of blue going into like this dark, dark blue and fading into basically black shadows. I, I don't know. I, I can't really put my finger on what it reminds me of. It kind of reminds me actually of the uh, the the front of the CD uh, Biomac Ocean Machine from uh, Devin Townsend. Just that shade of blue in the water. Incredibly nostalgic for me. It still looks really cool, actually. You get decent sharpness on a lot of your shots. Make sure you have the sharpest lens you can on and your focus is bang on. But, you know, it's it's not like Ektar, for example. 
you can get sharp shots, but it's just, it's not the sharpest. That's how I've at least run into it. So this is a motorcycle, pretty neat. I think I focused on this thing right here in the middle. I don't know what that part is called, but uh, yeah, you got some grain around, it's fine. The blur out background is not that much because I was using an F4 lens. I, I know that 24 to 105 in my kit because that's the only 24 that I really have. Yeah, that's remotely bright, if you can call F4 bright. I have no idea what I'm getting at. But this orange looks great. Very, very strong oranges. I don't know, it's just something about the primary colors in Phoenix, they really go. So the sky, anything red or orange. So yeah, blue, green, and reds. I don't know. Last photo here. This is probably my favorite that I've taken on Phoenix. And yeah, that's the result of the pushing. The halation is much more subtle because, well, you're underexposing it essentially and just bringing it up. So it doesn't tend to just explode as much on there. And even the cat, it's a white cat and it's not overexposed. So that's, that's a unique thing that you can do with Phoenix if you hate halation is, well, just... Uh, push it. <laughs> push it and give it a little bit of beans of overexposure and then just go develop it. But look at this cat. That's a, that's a good cat right there. Motorcycle. All of the details are just kind of... Reminds me of old animation stuff, you know, where it was just like machinery looked super crunchy. That kind of has that vibe right here. You can just see all of the reflections and not much else. Um, Yeah, that stuff over there is kind of... Well messy but you can't really avoid that so yeah this little guy he's so cute i can't get over how much i like this photo if i were to do anything more i would have you know zoomed out a bit but i just had to get the cat before i moved it is what it is anyway this has been what phoenix and pushed phoenix look like drop me a comment if you want to see any other film stock and i'll see if i have some and i can make some more prints and go over them see ya